Hey guys, welcome to my one bedroom at the basement of my sister house room tour slash plant tour. So as you walk in, you can see my bed and the first plant is the big Mastera. I actually got this from Home Depot like a year ago and it was like 20 bucks and I think I really I got a really good price on it. Um, it's really big and I have to tape the stem so it could like climb up just because I didn't want to repot it and get a moss pull for it. So here is my first plant. It's my baby. It's super big. So one thing I have to tell you guys is I only have two windows. This is one of the windows and the other one is on the other side of the room. So this window don't actually get that much light so this plant I only recently moved it here but it seems like it's doing fine and I have new leaves so there are like tiny ones at the bottom that's dying but <laughs> we're just gonna ignore those and then just look at all the pretty stuff prettier leaves so there's the monstera so as you walk across um there's me hi we have a golden pothos and a black zizi plant. I really like the contrast between the black zizi and the golden pothos and it looks really good with my art right there so and I use that guitar as a really expensive plant stand as you could tell because I have really tiny hands and I can't really play so <laughs> right now it's currently used as a plant stand and this here is just basically my mirror slash makeup skincare vanity thingy. Uh, I sit on the floor. I don't actually have enough room for like a vanity and it's yeah, my room is really small. So this is what I have to do. Just sit on the floor and look in the mirror and do my makeup and skincare. But I think it's really cozy. <laughs> It just looks weird when you walk in, all you see is like a mat on the floor. That's where I normally sit. <laughs> uh, over here, we actually have a plant shelf. It wasn't a plant shelf before I got plants, so let's, let me introduce you to some of my babies. It's a sister's this color, and I only recently got it. I don't know if it's actually growing or it's slowly dying. I had it for like two months now. It seems okay for now. These are like its babies and the little leaves, but it's grown this really weird disease on its thing. And then there were also like mushroom inside the pot. So it was like a whole deal. So I don't know, it's just there for now. Hopefully it doesn't die. Ooh, I do see a little yellow leaf, so. Oh. Uh, okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, here is my silvery and, and I got this from Josh Frogs when there wasn't selling it everywhere at like Home Depot and Lowe's, so I think I definitely overpaid for it. Uh, I just got two small cuttings for like 16 bucks, so not worth it. Um, no, you could just get it for normal price which is like $15 for a skin so do that don't do what I did but it's really long it's like all the way to the floor and this is one of my favorite plants I think I had it for like a year and a half now yep so the other plant I have is this <laughs> philodendron um is this your basic one I just bought it because it was impulse buy because I went to Home Depot and I, I didn't want to leave without anything, so I just bought it. Yep, <laughs> and there's that one, but I really do like trailing plants, as you can tell, so it looks really pretty. It's easy growing, there's no light here, and it's still alive, so yeah. And hair is also another impulse buy, because why buy one when you could get two? This was like five bucks from Home Depot. It's grown pretty big i think it's just like the older leaves is really wonky so it's just i just let it do its thing since this was like five bucks impulse buy it's not dying we're we're chill we're chill you know so the another plant i have is this snake plant 
And this snake plant, honestly, I had this for two years. I only ever watered this snake plant every two to three months. <laughs> it's just, it's just so easy. And it looks really pretty in this variegated. And out of all the plants, there's, it's really hard to kill. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's the snake plant. Coming to this side, um, I have a mini monstera. I forgot the other name, so it's put the name on the screen. Um, I only recently got this one, and I bought this at a nursery. I think it was like 18 bucks. I know you could find them at like Home Depot nowadays, but you have to really look for them. So I just bought it at a nursery. It's actually pretty good. I think this is the cultivar, but it still looks really pretty. So, um, <laughs> I've been waiting for the new growth for a while. Uh, on this side of my room, I don't actually get any sun, so it's not doing that great, but it's not doing terrible. <laughs> so, the other thing I have here are two golden potos cuttings I have in water. So it actually been there sitting in water for about almost a year and a half, almost two years. <laughs> That's way too long for a cutting, but I, I just like the way it looks with this tiny pot. So I just kept it in there. Yeah, there's that plant. And here is my really, really amazing please lily that I tend to forget and if you know peacefully they're drama queen so if you don't water them they flop so um yeah they're really easy like um if you notice like it's at the bottom of my drawer and it's on the floor there's actually no sun that I actually get there so I don't even know how it's surviving honestly but you are amazing and I think this was my first couple plants <laughs> so coming on to my working area where I work um, I have this arrowhead I just recently bought and it's the pink one I just wanted to add some colors in my room so I bought a pink one uh, and look at the new leaf it's so pink I really like it uh, if you want to get started getting an arrow plant, I think this is pretty good. It's not expensive as the variegated one, but it's still really pretty. You don't need the pink princess, you just need an arrowhead. <laughs> not gonna lie, I, I really want a pink princess, but I don't got the money to drop for a pink princess. Uh, over here, we have a begonia that really needs some sun so all the leaves at the bottom <laughs> kind of crisped and died but the foliage on top is just keep on growing to the window I have so it's actually pretty tall I bought it a year ago so it was when the trend being tropical just recently came out so yeah there's that one and then I have this fiddly fig I bought and during a year or two ago it was kind of really hard to find a fiddly fig um, I was looking at like Home Depot and I couldn't find anything so I bought it and as you could tell I lost all the leaves at the bottom it one day decided to be like I'm gonna die so I'm gonna lose all my leaves so here we have Another begonia, but those are the cuttings I have from the big mother plant. I have also this um, really dusty uh, ficus tree, a, a rub I mean a rubber tree. Um, <laughs> I wanted a rubber tree and I couldn't find one at Home Depot so I bought it at Josh Frogs and it came to me really really tiny and I never repotted it so it's forever a baby. I also have these Trandiscavia pink nanook or whatever. <laughs> I'm really bad at the names. 
Um, these were originally in one pot and more beautiful than this, but I killed it by forgetting to water it and giving it sun and love. And then when I repotted it, I left them outside and they have frostbite. So right now they're recouping, <laughs> hopefully, and not dying anymore. So there's <laughs> the Nanook. Uh, and I have this beautiful begonia. It's one of my favorite plants because it grows really wonky. <laughs> I know people don't like when plant looks really wonky, but I find it really fun. I got it as a small, small branch cutting and it grew to this. And I was really ghetto and use a art brush as a stick to hold the, the branch because it was too heavy, it was falling over. <laughs> And all I had was like an art brush, so I just used it as a stick <laughs> to hold it up. Um, the other plant I have is this oxalis purple kind, the purple oxalis. And I actually bought this <laughs> from like a Chinese lady on the street of Chinatown. It was kind of sketchy, but I bought it anyway because it was like five bucks. Um, and when I bought it home, it was it actually had like this, um, like copper disease that it had at the bottom, and I didn't check it when I bought it. So when I bought it home, it just slowly died, and I decided to just cut everything off and just I honestly I thought I lost five bucks from a sketchy old lady in Chinatown, but it grew back for me after watering it and letting it just sit near the window and it came back. So these are a really easy plant. They do go to dormancy during the winter and they do get a little leggy. So they're sad. Um, but every year they've been giving me flowers and this makes me happy. Right, flowers. <laughs> so another plant I have is this um, sad kind of looking Mm, oh, dumb cane. Oh my god, that's what that's why I am a dumb cane. It's a dumb cane. Um, so before it, this is also like two years old dumb cane. So after a year, I kind of just I I never have enough sun for my plant. So a lot of it is me being a bad plant mom and not watering my plant, and or forgetting to. Uh, yeah, just forgetting to water it and not giving enough sun or fertilizing or mm, wiping it because it's dusty AF. So there's that, but it's it's living. <laughs> well, I just realized that's literally all the plant I have. So thank you for watching me talk about my plants because none of my friend will. And when I try to give them cuttings, they like, no, because they say they're going to kill them. But I already killed about like six plants, so they can't do it worse than me. Thank you for watching and leave a comment with any new video suggestions because I need them because I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube. So please leave a comment and a like and subscribe. That's all for my video. Thank you.